Hello everybody, just a quick video today. I came up with a new kind of instant wire. This wire here is going through about 40 repeaters all the way around, all the way back here. Lag's not too bad. And I found this one to be a little easier to handle than the ones that already exist, the ones that have already been designed. The concept is fairly simple. It's something like this here. Except with a rail underneath. So what's happening is right now the rail is actually powering this wire. If we do a block update next to it we see that it's powered. And now the the wire is actually unpowered. So when we sync it up, uh, since it's powered right now, as soon as I flick this lever, this wire right here will send an update to this wire, causing it to be powered. And then one tick later, we push the um, the railing out of the way in order to make ra uh, make room for the next state, which will be to power back off. So right now it's powered. Well, actually, that's a problem with this, the way I have it set up right here. It loses power after a while. So right now it's powered. And we can transfer power like this. As you see, it's not very reliable. Um, the reason is that this railing loses power. To get rid of that, you just build it like this with two railings, uh, with two minecarts. So I would have encased these minecarts like this. And now the railing always holds the power. And so this wire always gets updated. And then in order to make a NOT gate, it's very simple. You would just power it like this. And basically take power from the railing when it's over here. So when the piston is extended instead of over here when the piston is retracted. And now it's an instant NOT gate. And then you can add these together. Um, since in Minecraft, to make an OR gate, you simply have two wires meeting up with one another. And if one of them is powered, then that can be considered an OR gate. And that combined with the NOT gate, you can create instant gates. Since you have access to the NOR gate, you can create all the other gates. And of course the hash set is still an issue with this. I was playing around with it over here trying to get it to work. These are two NOR gates connected to each other. Actually they are a, a NOT gate and a repeater connected to each other. So this one is off and this one is on. They come in over here and they join up right here and then I send them through this repeater over here so if I were to change the state on this wire then this one would flip so this is another NOT gate and if I have the lever right here then you can see it stays off unless I cut power so um, I'm always holding power from either one of these two contraptions onto this wire and we don't have the flicker but if I move this over one, then we see it turned on. And it only flickers on one of the edges. Um, so this is, it is a dual edge instant wire, but still affected by the hash set. Um, I don't know if there's a way around that, really. You can cycle this, or um, you can pulse it with a five tick clock. I have this repeater set to two ticks because if you just send a one tick pulse to this piston then it'll push the railing out and it won't pull it back but you don't want it to do that so you have to have this at least two ticks and if I have this set to five ticks let's see it working there causing a little bit of lag So 
it doesn't really break. Um, it's resettable. It works everywhere on the map, even on chunk borders and um, in every direction. Um, oh, this over here, I use this as a diode because if if you have with the new patch, um, since you can put wire on glowstone again, when we have this kind of setup, if I power it from the bottom, the power goes up. But if I power it from the top, the power only goes, or the power does not go down. So I can use that as a diode. Um, and this allows me to link them up closer to each other here. Because if I just had these two as regular blocks, then every time one of these would change state, it would influence, it would cause a block update on the other wire, causing it to get out of sync. So it's a nifty little feature with the with the glowstone. I hope they keep that in. <coughs> and that's really all I wanted to show you. And maybe someone will figure something out to get around the hash set problem. Um, and maybe someone will find a use for this in one of their instant redstone projects. Alright, that's it for me for today. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.